Yo, you're in the studio with Leon Switch, and today I'm going to run through how I use uh, Loop Cloud in my writing, uh, how it's contributed to my my workflow, and how it's it's really quick. Um, the interface is is brilliant, next level. Uh, I love the way you can access all of the sounds that you purchase through Loop Masters, um, which is just invaluable. It's it's like a a library within itself. Um, it's super hands-on, super cool, and um, and let's jump to it. Right, thank you for watching, and um, hope you find it insightful. Okay, so I've launched Ableton, and uh, I've also launched one of my projects that I've been working on with the Notan group, uh, which is Kelly Dean and Quizma. Um, this is a track that we were doing back in October, as you can see by the title at the top. It's uh, pretty much finished. There's a couple little edits to do, um, but I was thinking when I listened through it, there wasn't really. We, we need to get like a cymbal in there. Um, and maybe some maybe some shakers just very lightly they don't want to be crazy over the top shakers um and maybe a couple of sort of reverse symbols before before the drops so like before the first drop and a second drop here we go so let's make it smaller there we go so 35 that'll be the drop there and then we've got the second drop around here somewhere probably about here um so yeah so let's with that let's let's have a little look so so with loop cloud if i launch the interface all right if I um, close some of this up, sorry, that's where I've been looking through bits and pieces. Um, so if I basically, if I want to get like a symbol, uh, then I can come straight to here, and it gives me a list of all the symbols. Obviously, I've got hi hats here as well. Um, so rather than me trawl through a load, I can now go straight to crash or or splash. So um, let's have a look at splash. What have we got here? Nice. Maybe not the right kind of thing for the tune. Um, let's try some of these. So. Nice, crazy loud, but nice. All right, there we go. That'll do. And that's already on my on my computer. By the looks of things. Oh, there we go. It's quite nice. Right, so there we go. So basically, the way we do it is we download high quality file. That then downloads from the Loop Masters website straight to my computer. Uh, you can see here that it's 80 BPM. It's supposed to be running out. I mean, it doesn't make any difference because it's a single hit. Um, and you've got a few more functions here, which we'll maybe take a look at shortly. So if I minimize, no, not, don't want to minimize it. Sorry, I want to drag the the crash straight from here now that it's it's downloaded, and just pop it onto the um, pop it onto a, a, either a blank channel or an audio channel. There we go. So I've now got the crash in here. If I minimize this for a second. Um, so let's now zoom in a little bit on here and make it so that we can see where 35 is. So there's 35. I'm actually going to move one to the very beginning of the tune as well. That would be bar three. So let's have a little listen, see how that's sounding. I think it might be a little loud, but, but we'll go through with it. Let me just turn the volume down here a little bit. There we go. Right, let's see where we're at. They work quite nicely. All right, let's skip it on a bit so we can hear the um, when it drops. Control. If we're in a simulation, do we have free will? Free will. Free will. Nice. Free will. Kind of sits there nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy that across. Stop this playing for a sec. I'm going to put it every kind of 16 bars. Is that yeah? Every 32 bars. There we go. So we'll have a crash every 32 bars. That with a breakdown. This will be the drop again. I'm assuming. Let's have a little. Yeah, that is the drop again. Nice. And then we'll grab it to here. Another 32 bars. And once again, we'll go to. Oh. We'll go to here. 32 bars again. Okay, so that's that's the crash is put in. It's just, that's what I love about Loop Cloud. You could spend your entire life, well, I used to going through sample CDs and trying to find the right crashes or spending a lot of time messing around, you know, um, as this is so hands-on. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a shaker. So I'm going to insert a MIDI track here. I'm then going to go to instruments and grab a drum rack in here. And let's launch Loop Cloud again, the interface. And let's now take the crash off and the cymbal off. And let's go to Percussion Shaker. 
All right, let's have a little look through. All right, here we go. And there's some that I've obviously used before. The um, hard drive, little signs there. So let's grab these across into this drum rack. Got the drum rack down the bottom here. So let's grab number 16, we'll pop that on C1. And let's grab number 17, and we'll pop that on C sharp one. Brilliant, so now on the keyboard if I play C1, and then C sharp one, I've got my two shakers, let's minimize this. And let's program up just a simple pattern at the moment. Um, so let's come to here, where are we, let's go. Four bars, let's insert samples, sample clip, MIDI clip, sorry. Um, and then we're on 32 quantize wise, so we don't want that, we want to go 16s. Um, yeah, we'll go 16s in a minute, we can always adjust it afterwards. Okay, so let's now. Right, so let's highlight these ones here, the in between sort of shakers, and let's bring the volume down on them. That's definitely what's going to happen. And then let's now highlight every other one. Otherwise, it's just going to sound like a straight, which we don't really want. We want it to sort of sound at least a little bit human, you know? Uh, we'll try and get a bit of humanization out of it. So, let's see how that sounds. That should be. Nice. So, that'll work. So, let's control A to select all of them and control D to duplicate them. So, it's still a bit computery, but it's, it's, it's a hat. It'll work. Um, let's have a little look. We obviously don't want it when it first drops. That's going to have no impact. Um, so let's try it after this symbol over here. Pop it here and let's just, sorry, let's grab that one after it and zoom in on it. Just make sure we're in the right place. Yes. Okay. So let's duplicate this a couple of times and then let's loop it around this and now let's play with the, um, with the shaker. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a compressor initially and that is then going to become our side chain and we're going to side chain this against the drum group and we'll give it a bit of ratio and bring the threshold down we'll um, solo the shaker and the drum the drum group there we go and we'll just hear how that sounds let's play it from the beginning of the bar be a bit nicer oh it is we've obviously got a fill Which sounds pretty good. Um, I'm not entirely convinced it's the right kind of thing with the side chain. So what I'm going to try is I've got like a new, uh, I found recently, I was playing around with the gate. And I found a bit of a method where you can side chain with the gate. Um, if I go again against the drum group. And now what will happen is, um, in this mode where we are just as default, it will just, whenever there's a drum play um, through the group, it will it will trigger this, so so it will play the the shaker. Um, whenever there's whenever it stops, it will it will stop playing. So we should get more of a of a rhythm with the drums. It should work better, you know, and just not sound like a a straight um, shaker. That's lovely. Let's try a miss around with the threshold. really nice. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to try flipping it. So now this will in theory just play now in between any drum. So whenever there's a space in the group where there's no sound, then the, the shaker will come through. See what see what effect that has on the on the on the whole thing. Okay, let's try taking the hold up a touch and see what happens with that. And if I mute that off for a second, the the, the shaker. 
There's a massive difference. Yeah, that's that's really nice, I think. So let's try it with the whole tune, see how we're sitting mix-wise, and let's run it into it. I think that really works quite well. Um, so, so that's that's the shaker side of things. I'm quite happy with that. So we've now got the symbol and the shaker. So the next thing I'm gonna I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna just rename this, and we'll go shakers. Um, okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a, another audio channel. And the idea behind this one is it's gonna be a reverse symbol. Um, so let's rename that a reverse sim. Here we go, and let's go back to our loop cloud. Okay, so we are now, where are we? We should have, I take this off of here, um, rise or reverse, here we go, look, so under the effects section. So if we go reverse, and then we should have now a few little bits and pieces here, so like reverse crash. Nice. Nice. Right, I like that one. So let's download the high quality file. Nice. So now let's re let's grab our so we can make it so we can see our, our audio channel. Let's grab loop cloud the interface and then once again let's drag it in there so here we go sorry about that try that again well i can just move it can i there we go so let's move that to there let's get rid of channel 54 there's no need for that okay so we have to watch the volume on this because i don't want it to kill this symbol um so let's go straight away to the mixer and let's bring it down a touch and let's see how it's sounding <laughs> Lovely, so that has real potential. Um, so let's pop one in here. I'm assuming this is maybe the where are we? Just before the drop, yeah, 35. There we go. Experience simply either in our imagination or in the manifestation of a world that's being controlled. If we're in a simulation, do we have free will? Free will. Free will. Free will. Free will. Yeah, that works free really, really, really nicely. I like that. So let's have a look through. Let's try, let's move it to here. I need to double check on this though because these bits finish earlier up here. So let's bring this back a touch so that we line up here. So we're gonna have a gap then between when the cymbal finishes and when the when the break comes in, when the, when the drums come in. worked uh, and once again let's try moving this across oh sorry let's grab this copy it across to here and also let's have a look at this because we've only got it across here so let's duplicate this control d control d control d and then we just need to have a little listen through make sure there's no drum fills in here that we're covering up or that we're killing <laughs> Take the 
scale off of that one. Uh, let's bring the start point in on this one. very last bar here before the um, before the breakdown we're going to bring this back just like one bar's worth I made it a bit complicated for myself by, by zooming in a bit too far there I think there we go so we've got bars now we can see where we're at um, but I think that'll work better there Brilliant. And then once again, we could copy the shakers across. Um, there we go, to the beginning of the bar. Uh, we don't want it straight away when it comes in because I think it drops pretty minimal there. Um, but anyway, it's all good. Well, I hope that's been informative and I hope that's helped and also maybe introduced you to Loop Cloud, the plugin. It is such a good tool. Um, it's the interface is lovely um, the navigation side of things is, is amazing um, the the whole concept that you can search by genre or labels um, formats is brilliant so you've got presets in there as well so you can do Ableton live packs which is just yeah that's super cool you know you've got Ableton live presets I mean it's yeah there's not many not many plugins that you've got this much inside you know um, and by searching by key and BPM, I mean, how handy is that? I mean, it's something I would have dreamt of having a few years ago. So, so yeah, I can't, I can't praise this plugin enough. Thank you once again for watching. And um, yeah, this is available from from loopmasters.com. Uh, it's their their own their own native plugin. Um, respect, big up. Uh, this was Leon Switch. <laughs>